Well, good day. Glav here. Welcome back and thanks for checking back into Glav's World. This is our Dark Side Riders 2021 Bucket List Tour. We tried to do this last year, in March last year in fact, but unfortunately the Australian Prime Minister saw fit to slam our borders shut and you can make up your own mind whether you reckon that's constitutionally okay or not. Having said that, on this ride is myself, Palmy, Olivier and Cole. It was nine nights, ten days, and we covered about 3,100 odd kilometres. We head up, generally speaking, to the Burmese border and then head north up to Mae Saryang. From there we head round the biker famous Mae Hong Song Loop, 1,850 odd corners on that one in a couple of hundred k's. Then we head north again up to the border to meet the Burmese border then across to Chiang Rai. From there we head down to Nan and Nan down to Loi and then from Loi down to Kon Ken, then Karat, then home. I'm going to break this trip into three separate videos. Why am I doing such? Because it's easier for me to handle and hopefully it won't bore the shit out of you. Um, this trip, I've got to tell you, covers some of the best biking roads you will find anywhere in the world. Truly. In this first video, the first video of three that is, I'll cover the first three days only of the trip. Day one was essentially a transport leg from Pattaya up to Kang Phang Phet. 600 odd kilometres on day one. As I said, a transport leg and we made bloody good time. Then on day two, we head north out to the Burmese border and head up the Burmese border. This is a great road up there, but unfortunately we just got absolutely smashed with rain and we ended up in May Saryang that night. About 370 odd kilometres for that day. Then on day three, we do that famous May Hong Song loop and end up in Pai overnight. This was 254 kilometres on day three. As you know, that Mae Hong Song Loop is 1850 odd corners. It is just friggin' awesome. I've done that road now three or four times and you can just never get enough. I can assure you that won't be the last time I hit the Mae Hong Song Loop. As I said earlier, these are some of the best riding roads you will ever find. Happy days. We're heading north on the 331 trying to make some miles. It's only 7 o'clock in the morning and the traffic's already heavy. Not sure how many kilometres we've already done, but we're probably getting close to 100 under our belt. Got away at 6am. This is our bucket list northern tour ride for the year. Four dark side riders, Palmy, Olivier, Cole and myself. So stop number one, couple of hours under our belt, Amazon coffee for a... Uh, Iced coffee or an iced tea, um, with about five hours riding to go, it's, as I said earlier, it's a transport leg. So, the five of us just got to Singbury, um, I'm going to stop here, it's only early, it's only 10.30, we just fueled up again, I'm going to stop here and have a bit of lunch. It's friggin' hot, got to tell you, it's friggin' hot. So uh, we're only a couple of minutes away from our digs tonight in Camphan Fet. We've made good time today, we've hooted up the highways. It's highway ride, easy ride, just a transport section. It's been friggin' hot though, it's been pushing 40 degrees. Coming over the top of the river. Camphan Fet. Thirty a.m. on day two of our bucket list northern border run. Um, nice hotel, this. Just doing that part we all hate.
packing the bikes. We've just left Kamfang Fet. It's 8 o'clock in the morning, day 2. It's hot already. I'm not sure what the temperature is. We're just doing another bit of a highway run, run up the 1, Highway 1, where we'll go to TAC, which is north. Then from TAC, we'll head directly due west to Maysot, which is close to the Burmese border. That's where they're riding on the way to Maysot, starts to get interesting. And then we follow the Burmese border up to Mia Seriang, where we'll stop tonight. This is an awesome ride today. So I threw a left just before the tack. We're on our way through to Maysot and let the fun begin. Have a look at this road and this is a sweeping part. Another 65 kilometres to Maysot. I'm going to be tight on fuel so it'll alleviate and it gets a lot tighter than this. So we've just gone through the ringer here, getting everything for COVID done, taking film of passports and driver's license and everything. What a load of bollocks. What a time wasting, consuming, secured nothing. So we're in the middle of nowhere. We've decided we're hungry. So we've stopped. Get something to eat. See how we go. Looks good. Apparently, we're going to have noodles for lunch. What's the army, mate? Yeah. Happy little boy. Sweaty cup. Sweaty cup. Huh? Huh? Bye bye. Bye bye. This river down here actually separates Thailand, and that you're looking over the other side there is Burma. And apparently, th this wall here is supposed to keep the Burmese out. Um, but it's interesting, if you look down there, you can see in the distance a group of blokes wading into the river and they're a third of the way across the river and they're only waist deep at best. So it's not hard to see why there's an influx of Burmese into this country. They're actually in the centre of the river now and it's actually got shallower. They're only down to their knees. So interesting, isn't it? That's the border. Thailand, Burma. Blokes are halfway across the river now and it's not even up to their waist yet. Those blokes are going to walk all the way across, if I waited long enough, but I won't bore you, all the way across to Burma. Look at that. You can see the mountains in the clouds up there. We're heading up that way, not into that particular mountain that's in Burma. We're just following the river up, going north, following the border up. Unfortunately, it's raining a bit here. It's made the roads quite slippery. This is the bit, one of the best roads in the world to ride on a motorbike, but unfortunately, it becomes a bit of a horror story in the wet. Right, not too bad at this stage. The roads are wet, but anyway, we'll just take it easy, I guess. Shame we would have hooked through here otherwise. That was an absolute pisser. We've just been annihilated with rain. Have to take it really easy. These Dunlop tyres on this bike are just shit in the wet. It's horrible. We've got the most mountainous territory to come yet as we approach Mia Sariang. As I always say though, that's bloody motorcycle riding for you. Gotta take the good with the bad, or the bad with the good, whatever. So I'm up in the clouds now, fog and clouds. And it's very slippery roads. It's 
still raining, sprinkling. Shame, this is such a beautiful road to ride through the mountains here. To me, Siriang, the hotel in a minute or so. So night two, we're at the River House Hotel on the river in May, Siriang. This is 1245 baht for the night. I guess this is what we're paying for. River out here. No, you will have to pay. No, oh. you will have to pay. <laughs> You'll have to pay me. I'll have to have psychological counselling now that I've seen that. <laughs> Pretty nice room for my Aussie mates. Twelve forty-five. What's that? About fifty odd dollars. Fifty-five, sixty bucks for the night. Very nice. Well, the boys and I are heading out of Mir Siriang today around the Mei Hong Song Loop, noted as one of the top 10 rides in the world. 1,840 odd corners in a couple of hundred k's, a very technical ride. Fortunately, the weather forecast for today is not real flash, it's supposed to be raining. I've discovered that my back tyres knackered. Anyway, happy days. We're only 50k north of Mei Siriang, and how nice is this? We're not even on the Mei Hong Sun Loop yet. Beautiful, open, sweeping roads. Rain stopped for the time being. Roads are reasonably dry, just beautiful. Have a look at this. Cutting through the jungle, trees covering the road. Just gorgeous. Gorgeous riding in the riding heaven. This is what it's all about, and we're not even on the loop yet. Yeah! So. Kunyam, we've just stopped at on our way to the Mei Hong Song loop. The Mei Hong Song essentially starts here. We're at Dad's garden for a coffee. You right, Olivier? Yeah. He's all good. A little, little bit slow, but that's okay. <laughs> this I'm man, joking. Uh, this I'm man's going to criticise me for going too fast no, no, all the time. Right. He said I was going too no, slow. No, I'm so I'm going to up the 20 kilometres an hour now. Right. We're on the Mei Hong Song loop proper now. Up and down the mountain as we go. To my Aussie mates, this is one ride you gotta do, boys. This is time number three or four for me, but I could do this every weekend. 1863 corners, so 1843 to go. Just left the first lookout. Realised with the drone it'll only let me go up three metres because I've breached the altitude restrictions. I've got to change the software at the next opportunity. 
about 20 k's outside Mayong Song. Doesn't sound far, but when you're doing roads like this, it takes longer than you expect. We're going to stop there for lunch. The GoPro won't show this, but this is friggin' steep. I reckon probably 20%. So we're just leaving Mei Hong Song. Just had a fabulous Italian lunch. Probably spent too long there given got it over a two hour ride in front of us. It's getting on in the afternoon, but hey, shit, shit happens. So we're right into the Mei Hong Song loop now, into the technical stuff. Big switchbacks, steep hills. It's the easy bit we're going through at the moment, but sh sharp switchbacks, first gear stuff. Camera won't show it. Bloody steep. Love it. This is what we came for. The machinery and the camaraderie, of course. This is a bike ride. If it's bad going up them, I've got to friggin' tell you, it's worse going down them. We're just taking our time, the boys have said, easy, easy. So it's no race today, so it's easy, easy. Oh, this is so beautiful. Just look at it. No wonder they say this is one of the ten best rides in the world. is what you want. Dirt on the Mei Hong Song Loop. As we always say, there's never a ride without a patch of dirt. It is what it is. Just coming down the mountain towards Pai. About, I don't know, 18, 20 k's out of Pai now. We'll be stopping in Pai overnight. Bit more of this on the Mei Hong Song Loop tomorrow and then it's done. B2 in Pai. Um, B2 prides itself in just doing plain and simple concrete floors, but polished. Double bed, very nice. Little deck, big swimming pool, and this cost us 390 baht, which is um, I don't know, 15, 17 dollars. Yeah, ha. So that's part one, which is three days of a 10-day trip. There'll be two more parts to come. Just remember, people, that life can be ever so short. Therefore, as I always say, live life today.